How is it going, YouTube? And welcome back to another Fallout series. If you haven't seen my Fallout TV series update video, I'll be sure to put a link right here below. Now, since we know the Fallout TV series is coming out very soon, I thought I would talk about some of the things that we might see in the series. Some we could speculate off the images that we've already seen, and others we could just puzzle up together to try to figure out what the story will be about. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into it. Here are five things we might see in the upcoming Fallout series. And starting off with number one, the new California Republic, AKA the NCR. Now there's plenty of obvious reasons why I believe they will be in the series, but let's discuss what the NCR is. The NCR formed up with the creation of five states around the five large settlements in California. The five large settlements included Shady Sands, The Boneyard, Hub, Dayglow and Maxon. They provided security from wasteland threats and offered good standards of living to their growing population. So because this is in New California is the reason why I believe the series is going to be set in the West Coast. <laughs> For example, Vault 32 and 33 are the main plot points for the series, and because the Western Vaults are numbered 50 and below, as for the Eastern Vaults are 50 and up, we can speculate that we'll be seeing a lot of the West Coast and the NCR following the upcoming series, which I think would be really awesome. There's a huge lore and a great story to tell behind the NCR, so I'm sure we're going to be seeing quite a bit of it in the background. Now, moving on to number two is we're going to be following more than one main storyline. Think about like Grand Theft Auto 5. We might be following three main characters. That's right. I think we're going to see something very similar in the series. Remember, we have Walton Goggins, Kyle McLaughlin. Did you see this? and Ella Purnell as the main actors and actress for the series. It was already speculated that Walton was going to be playing as a ghoul, but according to his Instagram post, he has confirmed that he is now playing as a ghoul. So I think one of the main storylines is going to follow him as a ghoul. Maybe we'll see a little bit of his life pre-war, and maybe his character didn't make it to the vaults. So due to the high radiation, he has turned into a ghoul. I think that would be a good story. Being able to follow a main character in their journey pre-war and being affected by the radiation and having to survive in the wasteland. I don't know. That sounds pretty interesting to me. Now, as far as Kyle's character, we haven't had much speculation or intel on who he might be playing in the series. But if I'm going to take a guess, I'm either thinking he's going to play as an overseer or maybe someone associated with the Brotherhood of Steel. Regardless of who he plays in the series, I'm sure he's also going to be one of the main storylines of the series. And then we have Ella. Now, call me crazy, but I believe Ella's character is the person leaving the vault in this image. My speculation is that she's a young and athletic actress, which fits the role for someone who's going to fight off the security guard and the overseer to escape the vault. So my theory is that she also has a third main storyline. And throughout the entire show, we're going to be going in and out of each person's story. And maybe towards the end, it's all going to connect all together. Maybe she's leaving the vault to find Kyle's character as an overseer or the Brotherhood of Steel character character and they come across Walton as a ghoul and maybe all three of them wander in the wasteland and that's how the story builds up. I don't know. That's just my theory. And moving on to number three is the forced evolutionary virus, FEV, which is a forced evolution that gave birth to the super mutants and also was the pinnacle of pre-war research into the virus. So the reason why I think we're going to see this a lot in the series is because we all know that vault had a secret agenda for each individual vault. So I think the chances of one of these vaults testing around with FEV is highly likely. Maybe that's why one of these vaults looks a little destroyed. And also because I think this is a great way to introduce introduce possibly the Enclave, or if we're lucky enough, it'll introduce the Master, but I don't think it's going to get to that case. The point is, FEV plays a huge role in the lore of Fallout, so it wouldn't surprise me if we get a little bit of the back end of that story. And after all, that's what I think is going on in this image that we saw previously. These two vault scientists looks like they're carrying someone or something on a stretcher. For all we know, this could be the product of someone who's been testing with FEV. And the reason why I say the Enclave is because we also have this image shot in the same location of what looks like the Enclave Guard here. Maybe I'm just putting a whole lot together, but that's just where my two cents are going. I think we're going to be seeing FEV and Super Mutants as one of the many villainous things that we're going to be seeing in the series. And coming up on number four is something that personally I would love to see for the series is Ron Perlman. Now, for those of you who don't know why, Perlman narrated the cutscenes for several of the Fallout games. War. War never changes. The intro narration in each of these games starts with the line, War. War never changes. And just a fun fact, he was a voice actor for one of the characters in the original Fallout and also in Fallout 4. Confirmed reports, I repeat, confirmed reports of nuclear detonations in New York and Pennsylvania. So that's why I think he would make a great cameo for the series. 
And coming in at number five is Deathclaws, one of the most dominant predators of the wasteland. Deathclaw is the term referring to genetically engineered creatures developed by the United States military to replace humans during close combat. And as you know, they escaped into the wild in the aftermath of the Great War. And over the next several decades, they managed to become the apex predator of the wasteland. Deathclaws are commonly a large reptile-like creature designed for maximum carnage. I mean, imagine a vault dweller escaping the vault only to be interrupted by a Deathclaw. I mean, I think that would be actually a pretty funny introduction. But nevertheless, I'm sure we can expect seeing some death claws in the series. Anyway, those are just my thoughts and opinions, but what do you think? Do you agree with everything that I mentioned? Or do you think we may be expecting other things? Let me know in the comments down below. Either way, guys, I'm excited for the series. I can't wait for it to come out. And once we get any further information on the series, I will be sure to cover it on the channel here. Thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you all in the next one. But until then, have a good one.